All right, guys, today we're in section 5.3, multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. In example one, uh, we're just multiplying fractions. Uh, it's important that you remember that with multiplying fractions, I multiply my numerators and my denominators straight across. Okay, so with adding and subtracting fractions, I don't do anything with my denominator, but with multiplying and dividing fractions, I do. I do multiply and divide my denominators. All right, guys, so as you're getting settled in, um, one times one is what? <laughs> yes, I'm seriously asking that question. Yes, it is one. Three times two is what? So that's my answer. I just multiply straight across. Okay, so now I want you to multiply these fractions, two-thirds and four-fifths. Two times four is eight, three times five is 15. All right, so let's do two more. Just multiplying straight across and reducing where necessary. All right, guys, what's the first one? Nine over 40, very good. And what about the second one? Five over 14, can't reduce either one. So now in example two, um, now I'm multiplying whole numbers times fractions, and here I'm looking for opportunities to cross-reduce. So I have 200 times 3 fifths. Anytime I'm multiplying a fraction by a whole number, I'm going to place it over 1. That visually gives me a very clear indication, okay, these are my numerators and these are my denominators. Now, is there anything that I could cross-reduce? The 5 and the 200, because they can both be reduced by what factor? By 5. Okay, so 5 goes into 5 one time, and then 200 divided by 5 is 40. So 40 times 3 is 120 over 1, which is just 120. All right, so multiplying by whole numbers, we always want to look for the opportunity to cross-reduce, and then we place the whole number over 1. I want you to do this one. 12 times 3 eighths. So we make 12, 12 over 1. Can we cross reduce anything? Yes. Yep, 2 thirds, 9 over 2, but we don't leave it in proper. We need to change it to a mixed number. Very good. Now, in example three, now we're multiplying mixed numbers. We have 5 and a 4 times 4 and 2 thirds. The first thing we want to do is change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So what would 5 and 1 fourths be as a improper fraction? What is it? 21 over 4. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. 21 over 4 times what? 14 over 3. Now, can I cross reduce? Okay, so first step is change to improper fraction. Second step is to cross-reduce. Yes, I can. 3 and 21, I can reduce by 3 to make 1 and 7. 4 and 14, what can I reduce by? 2 to make 2 and 7. Now I multiply straight across. 49 over 2. Now, if you're unsure of how that would be as a mixed number, you can use the function that I just taught you in your calculator. Enter the fraction and change it to a mixed number and you should get 24 and a half. Okay, you can test that in your calculators to make sure you got the answer correct. All right, so now I want you to do one. All right, so two and three fourths becomes what? What does it become? 11 over four times 19 over six. Well, you can't cross reduce anything, so you just have to multiply the big numbers. And remember, if that is difficult to find, just enter your fraction, 209 over 24, press equals, and then shift S to D button, and it gives you the mixed number, 8 and 17 over 24. Raise your hand if you got it. 8 and 17 over 24. Did you get it right? Okay. All right, now I want to do um, a couple more. Okay, number 25 tells you... This is number 25 on page 218. Uh, this is just uh, an example of some homework you're going to see. I just want to go over. It just looks a little different than the examples. It says 3 fourths x when x equals 3. I want you to go ahead and substitute and solve. 
Okay, so I substitute and solve. One, two, and one fourth. Did you get it? Did you get it right? Okay, number 27. Now you have to be careful here. Watch for order of operations. I want you to solve this one. Three minus one fifth y when y equals six. All right, so three minus one fifth y. What do you do first? You multiply one fifth times six over one. I would leave it an improper fraction. But now when you're subtracting, what do you have to have? What do you have to have, guys? Uh, least common denominator. What is your LCD? Five. So 15 over five minus six over five is nine over five, one and four fifths. Did you get it right? Did you get it? Malcolm, did you get it? No? All right, so that's one of the tougher problems that you'll see. Uh, but if you understand that, that is everything you need to know for 5.3.